The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you and I will lead back your captives from every place. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today's Mass is being offered for the parishioners of St. Jude. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed many tears because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with its seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders, a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the holy ones. 
they sang a new hymn. Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priests for our God, and they will reign on earth. The word of the Lord. The Lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. Let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, if this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a palisade against you. They will encircle you and hem you in on all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you. Because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
is the love? Hmm? It's a good question to ask ourselves. We heard in the gospel today, Jesus looking out over Jerusalem. And there was no peace there to be found. Love brings peace. So how can we make our home here on earth be more like heaven? We can do that when we spread the love. We can have peace. Today the church celebrates St. Elizabeth from Hungary. She is a wonderful example of how to spread love that creates peace. St. Elizabeth was married and she took it upon herself to take care of people who were in pain, who were sick, and had all kinds of diseases. She founded hospitals to care for them. And it's very clear that Christ was working through her. One night, her husband came home and saw her carrying a mantle that was heavy. And inside the mantle, her husband found red and white roses all about. So it was an interesting story. It's fascinating to think about. St. Elizabeth was full of love and full of peace in her life. God is communicating with us even today through the readings. God speaks to us through his word and he speaks to us through the example of St. Elizabeth through her words and deeds. We all have a duty here on earth and it is to build up the kingdom of peace through our love. And when we do that, it will help us to become more aware and know more about God and his kingdom. So the question is, are we worthy of that task? Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention that children who are suffering, especially those who are homeless, orphans, or victims of war, may be guaranteed access to education and the opportunity to experience family affection. We pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, that his advisors help him to make wise and timely decisions about priestly assignments. We pray to the Lord. For our newly elected officials, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those in the bulletin, and also for the parishioners of St. Jude Parish, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, 
We pray to the Lord. Father, we thank you for hearing all the prayers that we offer you. We know that you answer them as we seek to do your will. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our savior and redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only save the word, and my soul shall be healed. To be near God is my happiness. To place my hope in God the Lord.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord, amen. I know it's a week before Thanksgiving. <laughs> Time really does fly. So that's exciting. And I just wanted to let all of you know that for next Thursday, the Mass will be held on Thanksgiving Day, but with a slight time difference. It will be at 8 o'clock a.m. instead of 9 o'clock a.m. to give all of you a chance to get started with your cooking and your Thanksgiving preparations. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>